What are the practical earnings when you are doing Forex investing or Forex trading? So we have a special guest right now who's going to talk to you about it. He is the founder of Invest Pro and also the co-founder of FTH Movement. Let me introduce to you Sir Joma. So one of the things that he does is doing Forex trading mm. and he also is an investor in Forex. So he's one of the best guys to ask when it comes to the practical earnings that you're going to get when you're doing Forex. It's either you're a trader or investor, okay? So we have an actual experience coming from a guy who's actually doing it. What's the practical earning talaga pagdating sa Forex? There's no specific practical percentage na ROI. Okay. Okay. Uh, I cannot say na it should be 30% per annum, 40% per, per annum, 50% per, per annum fixed. Okay? Because in all investment types, okay, also in business, uh, what you have to do is parang you have to go wide and then kailangan mo siyang pa, tag doon, para siyang i-compress your analysis. Uh, what does that mean? Uh, of course, we have our global percentage when it comes to ROI. So magsisimula tayo sa global percentage. How much is the global percentage na kinita for this type of investment? And then of course you have to go sa country mo, sa Philippines, uh, magkano ang kinita talaga ng investments in the Philippines for this year because it changes every every year. And then you go to the industry. If that's stock market or if that is forex or real estate, magkano yung average percentage niya for this year. So that way, uh, magkakaroon tayo ng comparative data para masabi talaga natin na ito yung practical na kayang kitain in the forex market. We also have to consider yung global market talaga eh. Ano ba siya? Maganda ba siya? Pataas ba siya? Or pababa ba siya? If mababa siya lahat and then, ah, it's ba? If mababa lahat and then meron biglang napakataas na investment fund ko, medyo ano yun? Medyo questionable. Because in investing in business, numbers do not lie. Okay? So, ganun po yung gagawin natin. Uh, we have to compare it should be relative to other investments. Okay? Now, when it comes to the Forex market, kung ako po kasi ang tatanungin, I will really base it doon sa pinakamagaling. Okay? And uh, for, for hedge funds and for the Forex market, for these types of uh, investments, it is George Soros. Okay? George Soros can be considered the greatest in the, that type of market. Okay? Uh, bakit siya greatest? Because for 30 years, nag-average yung fund niya ng 30% per annum. And I'm not just talking here about best for performing for this year only or last year only. I'm talking about 30 years of experience nila when it comes to managing funds. So in investment po kasi, it's not about how big you can make. It's about sustaining it. Okay? So to answer the question, wala pa akong sagot doon sa ano. What is the practical uh, percentage of earning in the forex market? Well, on average, it should be 30% okay, per annum, right? So if, if you are doing 24% or 30, 24%, you really are doing well. 